Sexy Red. And I think Joe Budden uh, commented about why Dre keeps hanging with her. Talking, talking. Oh, technically, I ain't respectfully. Okay. And I ain't it, defending you. It sound you. like a nigga that could rap at that level that gets paid off of everybody's deal trying to rap. That's what it sounds like. Yo, okay, first of all. That's what it sounds like. Okay, wait, hold on. To me, I'm not, I'm not arguing with none I'm of you not, niggas. All right. All right. You, I'm not you, trying to debate. Real quick, real quick, real quick. You said this paid on somebody's deal. Is this confirmed? Or this is just some inside shit that you're saying? Oh, you think he just likes being around Sexy Red that much? Yeah, so this is, is this speculation? Y'all think, no. You have, think no. he just is? I, I'm with you 100% like, with there. 100%. You got a teacher? I don't know, nigga. I can name some more. I can name some more people. More. Hey. And this is what I, Yo, no, be this saying, is what I don't understand <laughs> about you fucking Drake stands, <clears throat> Right? Talking, talking. Oh, I ain't. Okay. Now, she responded to uh, that clip um, of Joe saying that, and she basically said, yo, y'all are so dumb or something of the sort. She tweets a lot. She says, they so dumb. Now, do I believe that Sexy Red and Drake are hanging out because Drake is incentivized by financial gain in terms of what her label is paying no i know sexy red's management team matter of fact sexy red management team and sexy red's label they're getting off the finesse to a certain extent way less that six nine got off because we're intrigued and we can't keep talk we can't stop keep talking about the ratchet ghetto bitch with the fucking red red wig and now she just had a baby respectfully i want to not not respect that process, but she's she's hasn't even really fully snapped back yet. She looks a little sloppy. She's always showing her ass. She looks a little dirty. Not saying she is, but she looks. Yes, we give her all the free promo in the world. I post her all the time just for y'all. You know when I post her, five thousand comments. It like it's free promo, right? So she gets a shit ton of free promo, like literally free promo. Y'all probably think I post sexy red and be like, yo, it's her label. No, no, no. Y'all have a visceral reaction to sexy red. Why? Because y'all have these thoughts about sexy red. Now, let me tell you something about Drake. Drake ain't never been associated with a motherfucker that could never help him. Case in point, every nigga he gave a feature to who can't get him on the phone today. If them niggas is irrelevant, he don't fuck with them again. He don't reheat. Cold hamburgers, cold pizza, and he don't try to bring nobody back from the dead. This is where you realize where rap is at. The most intriguing, the most viral thing in the hip-hop culture is actually Sexy Red. Drake, I believe, not that he needs to, but Drake aligns himself with specific things that are happening in culture. It makes him cool. He supports these like whatever, whatever. Let's think about all the things he supports. The most popping online skit maker, you know, I think Drewski kind of a little bit elevated beyond that, even though he's kind of still in that realm. He was with Drewski before. Now he's with Ben the Dog. They keep making skits every day, even though I said no more skits because it's wartime. Cool. We all know he's rocking with Savage. Always got to make sure you keep a hood nigga under the tuck. No diddy. Also, we've seen he kind of delve into streaming a little bit, and he does it in a really cool way. Him and Aiden Ross, they're both got to deal with steak, and I think, I'm going to be honest with you, with, there's a mutual benefit. I'm not saying Drake is not friends with her. I'm not saying this is fake, but what I'm saying is you can't pay for Drake to hang out with your artists. Yes, I have seen Sony, Sony, um, Sony Music Group has or Sony uh, um, Music Entertainment, they have paid for artists that they've had to be in fake relationships. You don't have enough money to pay for Drake to hang out with any artist. Drake is such a huge artist that his cosign, whether it's a verse, a song, or a picture, a follow, is invaluable. You can't pay for him to hang out with Sexy Red. So Drake picks these spots where it's mutual beneficial. 
Sexy Red gets her profile raised, and I think Drake taps in with that audience that I think he wants to kind of, like, you know what I mean, seem endearing to. Don't y'all remember when Drake went on this whole thing talking about, yo, he liked BBWs? Have y'all seen Drake with a BBW ever? And, and, and we're not talking about the chicks that got, like, just the big ass from, like, a BBL surgery. Like, Drake said he loved fat bitches, and we've never seen him with a fat bitch. Do you get what I'm saying? Drake knows how to, I, I won't call it pander, but it's kind of that. Hey, this sexy red thing that is already naturally bringing in attention, I'm going to support it. It's not in competition with what I do. And if you go back at Drake's career, you'll find that Drake will support the things that have no competition to him. The things that might be in his realm, he don't fuck with it. Think about it. Sexy Red, which is the ghetto ratchet, hood rat, female music, like it. Streamers, like it. This, like it. An up-and-coming, like, lyricist or somebody who could be in his lane, no. He's not touching it. So when you see Drake and Sexy Red, Drake has realized that music is overran by a bunch of ratchets with Gorilla Glue pinning down some hair hat on the top of their head. And you know what? Like, don't y'all see every three days there is a there is a headline of Drake just bought Sexy Red a new Cartier watch. Just bought her a new bag. He just bought her this. Yes, to me, that's Drake purchasing that audience. I'm not saying he's not cool with her, but he's purchasing that audience. Drake is trying to convince y'all like he convinced people back in the day when he said he loves his woman BBW and we never seen him with a fat bitch. He's trying to tell y'all like he likes women like Sexy Red. However, every girl he gets caught on paparazzi with ain't like Sexy Red. Sexy Red is the only one he's like that with. He's with Lotto's sister, who's basically an Instagram model, one of the Instagram Miami models type, type girls. Every girl, you don't even see Drake with no black chicks. But of course, publicly, oh, nah, oh, ratchet hood music that is kind of, this woman's a caricature naturally. Yeah, nah, I love her. Yeah, this, this is mine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it works because we eat it up. Pause. No ditty. Is he being paid? No, he's smart. He knows how to work the media. 